Hi, this is Matt Sauger, and I want to share with you a prophetic insight for 2009. I believe that it is in the heart of God that not only local churches would receive visitations of God's glory, but we would see entire cities overcome by the manifest presence of God. And I, and I just declare today that it is in the heart of God for city-wide visitations of the Holy Spirit. And I believe that there will be apostolic sinners that will be raised up by the hand of God. I prophesy that already there has been a transition taking place within the body of Christ. That even those that have sat and ministered under the function of pastor, that even pastors will begin to step into a greater fullness of the manifestation of the apostolic call that is on their lives. Even now, there are local churches being transformed into apostolic centers that will be habitations for the manifest glory of God. And as we talk about these apostolic centers that God is raising up, and I, and I know right now by the Spirit, there are some pastors watching this prophetic word, hearing this prophetic word, and it is a confirmation in your own heart that the ultimate calling, the place that God is bringing you to and your ministry to is that you would not just pastor a local church, but that you would be an apostolic center that would influence the entire city that you live in. There is coming an increase of authority. There is coming an increase of the sphere of influence upon your life. There's somebody watching right now. Your sphere of influence is about to increase. Your sphere of territory is about to enlarge, and the number of people you impact is about to move outside the four walls of the local church and even out into the highways and byways, and you are about, your ministry is about to impact not just your people in your church, but your ministry is about to impact the whole city that you live in. And I believe that even the realm of miracles, that, that the manifestation of miracles will be even greater outside the four walls of the church than inside the four walls of the church. That there will be many unbelievers that will be touched by the miracle power of God through your ministry as people are equipped, raised up, and launched out into the whole region around you. And there are two scriptures in the Bible that God has spoken to me concerning this. In Acts chapter 8, verse 5 through 8, talks about Philip. He went down to the city of Samaria and proclaimed the Christ to them. And great crowds of people with one accord listened and heeded what was said by Philip as they heard him and watched the miracles and wonders which he kept performing. You see, even there, Philip was outside and he was performing signs, wonders, and miracles. And it says, For foul spirits came out of many who were possessed by them, screaming and shouting with a loud voice. Many who were suffering from palsy or were crippled were restored to health, and there was great Great rejoicing in that city. The whole city was filled with joy. The whole city was rejoicing at the visitation of God. So I prophesy that there are apostolic centers that God is birthing, God is raising up and bringing into maturity. And these apostolic centers will be habitations for the glory of God. And as, your, and as your place, as your house, as your home that you have built for the Lord becomes a habitation for His glory, not only will the people be impacted inside of that place, but your whole city will be impacted by the glory that flows out from that place. And I believe all throughout America, and I believe even throughout other nations, because there are folks watching from other nations, that there will be strategic locations that become apostolic habitations for the glory of God to not only impact the people inside the church building, but impact the whole city around you. And this is what's happening. Allow the Lord to bring a shift in your mindset. Because for many, as you have functioned as a pastor, your mindset has been just on those sheep that you see week after week. And, and, and it's been a pastoral mindset. But when you begin to function apostolically, you not only are concerned about keeping these sheep safe and making sure they're all fed and taken care of, but now your vision goes from inward to outward. And what happens is there's an expansion of multiplication that happens. Not only now you're trying to gather, but now you're trying to expand and multiply. And there's an increase that happens with an outward vision that comes as a result of the apostolic anointing that is coming upon your life and that has actually already been on your life. 
That anointing has been there. But you're going to start to see it manifest in greater ways. And as that apostolic anointing manifests within the church this year, we're going to see more cities impacted for Jesus, more souls saved, more miracles manifested. But it's not going to be through an introverted vision. It's going to be through the extroverted vision of the apostolic heart of God. So as we move into this year, I want you to pray. I want you to pray. If, if you're watching and your church is called to be an apostolic center, pray. Say, Lord, whatever vision I need to have, give me your vision. Lord, take this, 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 this house that I have built for you and cause it to grow and to birth into the full manifestation of the apostolic so that not only are the people gathered within the four walls and shepherded and taken care of, but they are released, they are raised up, they are equipped and empowered to go into every aspect of the society within your own city within your city, so that the whole city becomes influenced by the influencer, the Holy Spirit. God bless you today, and let's agree on this together. And as we do, I believe this year, we can see it is a divine possibility, whole cities filled with joy because of the visitation of God that will not only touch your church, but will touch the entire region around you. God bless you. On today's program, I want to help you get from where you are to where God wants you to be. There is a supernatural destiny on your life. Many of you, you've received prophetic words at different times in your life, but don't you think it's about time now that you not only have a prophetic word, but you actually walk that prophetic word out? Well, on today's program, I'm offering you a powerful teaching resource called Walking in Your Prophetic Destiny. We teach you some really vital, practical keys on how to, number one, overcome destiny roadblocks, those things in your life that could actually hinder you, that can hinder you from being and doing all that God has created, created you to do. We also teach you how to walk in your destiny. In other words, you know, one thing I've learned, the Bible says, faith without works is dead. So one of the keys I've found as I've pursued God, as I've pursued His purpose and destiny on my own life, is that many times God will require me to add action to my faith. That in and of itself was a huge revelation for me that really helped me take all the prophetic words I've ever received and then actually walk them out and see them become reality. So if you're watching today and you say, Matt, I really want my prophetic words to be a reality. I don't want them just to be a nice word. I want them to be real in my life and you want to see them manifested. Order this resource today, Walking in Your Prophetic Destiny, and I know that you will be equipped with the Word of God to go from point A to point Z, to take all those little steps you need to take in between to get to where God has for you to be. And I know God has an awesome destiny for you today. If you order today with your love gift of $30 or more, you'll get free shipping and handling. You don't want to miss out on this incredible 4-CD teaching set.